Okay, YouTube, it's viral every day. All right, so I got a new gun. Um, Ruger LCP, and as you can see, made in Arizona for Arizonians. Kind of neat. Uh, and if you can see, it's in a copper color. Um, so this is my new gun. I'm kind of excited about the gun um, because it is a small gun. It's uh, LCP is in is in uh, 380. Um, as you can see, uh, Ruger sends you, a, or you, you buy the gun, you get a lock, you get some uh, owner information, you get one magazine, and you get an extension for that magazine. And then you get this box. A lot of people have griped about the box saying, hey, I, um, I want a hard case. Me, I don't care. I, uh, I like the box. Um, I like what comes in the box. And um, this one, I'm actually going to keep this box because it has this sticker on it. And I think that this, if I ever resell it, which I doubt it, um, this box will kind of... Uh, seal the deal, I think. Um, so anyway, so in the box you also get a uh, soft nylon uh, holder for the gun, which I really like. And some people uh, complain about that, um, and that is that uh, you've got a big Ruger uh, emblem on it. So if you carry this somewhere, um, people are going to know that you have um, a gun. Me, I don't care. I, I actually like this, um, and I'm not going to be carrying my gun around town in this. <laughs> I mean, and if I'm if I'm taking it in and out of range, well then I I, I should have a gun bag, so because uh, it's going to be really on me. But anyway, so here's the LCP. Uh, I, I took it to the range yesterday, and it is dirty, so um, it is copper. Um, it really it looks like desert tan to me, and that's the reason why I really got it. Um, and the fact that it is a commemorative gun for Arizona, uh, 1912 to 2012. Um, Arizona became a state in 1912, um, on, and it has this laser uh, etched on it, the LCP um, and the Arizona state. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Um, I forget the uh, light in here is in my man cave is kind of low. But anyway, and also you have uh, Arizona. Uh, the state and AZ, and then on the back, I mean, on the other side, it's uh, Arizona 100 years. Um, and on, the, on here also, it says Ruger Prescott, Arizona. Um, all right, so it is empty. It also comes with one magazine, which is kind of a bummer. Um, it's a very nice magazine, it's really light. Um, it's made in Italy, though. Um, I'm not too sure why that is. Maybe it, uh, maybe it's a copy. Maybe another gun actually uses this magazine. I'm not too sure. Um, and they just the uh, same factory that makes it. And instead of stamping whatever gun it is, they stamp a Ruger on it. But anyway, <clears throat> so it comes with this. Comes uh, in the box. Also comes with a um, a mag uh, extension that you can um, put on here. A little mag extension. Um, now in um, my other video, I'm going to show you what I end up doing with that. But anyway, um, very nice little gun. It's very small. Uh, one of the things about the gun, um, its takedown is a little unusual. you got to kind of cock it back about a quarter of an inch and then stick something in here and pull it, pull out this pin. No, I'm not too keen on that. That's probably the only thing that I don't like about the gun. Um, now I've ordered an extra couple of these pins because you can just imagine you're losing that pin, you can't put the gun back together. Um, and also a couple of these uh, pins for the frame uh, for when I take it apart and, and uh, do some gunsmithing with it. And I'll show that in the second video. All right, so it, uh, the LCP. Um, it is a, uh, it's a, it's a very nice gun for carry. Um, it's a small gun. Um, I don't have the weight uh, here, so I'm gonna have to annotate it around here somewhere the weight but anyway the gun uh, like I said it's a 380 uh, six and one um, six in the magazine one in the chamber uh, it the length of it is like five inches five and a quarter inches uh, and the width of it is really why I got it I mean it's under an inch it's like uh, 0.82 or something like that um, and the length of it it's like like three and three and a half inches oh actually it's a little over three and a half inches if you don't have the uh, magazine extension on it. Anyway, so this is a um, glass filled nylon. Um, hold on a second. Okay, so it, the um, handle is a uh, glass filled nylon um, in obviously it has some sort of dye added to it. Now the uh, it has a um, on the last round it does not have a slide lock 
mechanism. It does have a manual slide back locking uh, le lever on here. Um, and here's your mag release. Now I know there's a lot of other um, videos out there on on the Ruger, but I just thought I'd just give my little my little spin on it. It's got some pretty nice checkering on it. Um, I really do dig this uh, finger cutout because it really does is a nice place to put your thumb. The sights on here are um, pretty minimal. Um, I was uh, contemplating putting a little bit of um, high uh, glow um, gun sight uh, paint on it. Um, I'm not too sure which color I'm going to use yet, but anyway. Alright, so as you know, it is a 380, and uh, the 380 is a little, little controversial in the in the sense of its stopping power. And um, I just want to give you a, a quote from uh, Masad uh, Ayub, who does I don't know if you guys are familiar with him, but he's a, a firearms trainer and expert, and, and he's written a couple of books. And actually, he's a pretty he's a pretty knowledgeable guy. But anyway, what he he one of the things he said about the 380 is um, some some experts will say it's barely adequate. And others will say it's barely inadequate. So, <laughs> take it for what that's worth. But anyway, so the 380 came came uh, um, was used, I guess, in uh, World War II with the uh, Wolf of PPK and the Italians. Uh, their army used it uh, in a Beretta. Um, the uh, 380 ACP um, was. Uh, it was made by well, the automatic Colt pistol. Was made by or introduced by uh, Colt in um, 18, excuse me, 1908, excuse me. Um, it goes by a couple of different names, uh, 380 Auto, 9mm Browning, which to me is a little confusing for, for just a regular old 9mm, I guess. 9mm Quarto, 9mm Kurtz, now I've never heard of those two, um, a 9mm Short, which I have, and then obviously a 19 by 17 um, And... The, uh, this particular round that I'm shooting is a uh, Federal, it's a 95 grain, um, its uh, velocity is, uh, I think it's like 950 something uh, feet per second. And with a uh, penetration of 17 inches and expansion of um, like a third of an inch I think. Um, I actually, when I was at the range, I actually shot ball round. Uh, I'm, I'm intending on shooting, or reloading, and I don't know how much I've actually showed you guys, reloading my own uh, 380s. You can probably go, why would you reload? Um, but the uh, 380 um, in a hollow point is really expensive, and I don't know if I've put that in any of my other videos yet to put out, but it's like a dollar a round, and that to me is nuts. That's ridiculous. So uh, I'm going to reload my own um, ammo, and I'm going to use the Hornaday XTP, which is... Um, 90 grains, 1,000 uh, thousand feet per second velocity, and I think it's got like half an inch expansion with uh, 12 inches of, of penetration, which is really nice. Um, well, anyway, real quick, with this particular gun, there were a couple of other things that you could um, purchase, and, and I actually looked at a couple. I actually did look at the uh, Wolf of PPK. It was a lot bigger. I did, you needed a tool to, to, I mean an actual tool to release the slide. And if you lose the tool, and it's a goofy tool, if you lose the tool, you're done. You, you, you're not going to get the part. At least this, if you pull this out, I mean, you can use a knife, pocket knife, a screwdriver, and maybe, um, I mean, maybe a fingernail. But anyway, so uh, this is in competition with a Beretta 380, a uh, Wolf of PPK, uh, the Burst of Thunder. Um, uh, Sig Sauer makes a 230 and a 232. Obviously, the Cal Caltech P3AT, I believe it is. These are two very similar guns. Um, I almost, I think, Ruger copied them, <laughs> but they actually did a better job. I think that they, um, it's more f refined and finished. Um, just a, a tad bit more expensive, and uh, than the um, Caltech. Smith and Wesson makes one. It's called the Bodyguard um, Diamond uh, Diamond Bag. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Diamond Bag, but they make one. Car. Every, I think everybody's seen the Car 380. Taurus makes a TCP, and uh, believe it or not, Glock makes a 380. But you can't buy it over here in the United States. I'm really now. I'm really curious to see what this Glock 380 looks like and how big it is. Uh, I think if I make a trip over to um, Europe, I think I'm going to make a trip to a gun shop and see. But anyway, so. 
that's a, a quick overview um, of this gun. I'm going to do another video on the carry options and some of the upgrades that I'm going to do to this particular gun. Okay, so thanks for watching YouTube.